Hey Jim, with summer fast approaching, there's going to be a lot of people out there looking for movers. I'd like to talk a little bit today about the mistakes that people come across when they're actually looking for a mover. Let's start with the upfront process. When you go online, you're looking for a mover. What are the most common mistakes? Well, you know, hey, looking for a mover could be a stressful, uh, stressful thing. So, you know, even before you even got to think about packing those boxes, you got to start to think about what am I going to do? So most people today go to the internet and a lot of times they'll be attracted to maybe slick websites. And I think I'd be careful of that, that just because they have a slick website doesn't mean they're going to be the best mover for you. As a matter of fact, some of those websites might be brokers and not movers. And what that means is that, hey, they're going to take your move and then probably sell it to a moving company. And in the summertime, when the moving companies are at capacity, is your move really going to be paid attention to in the right way? I I'm not sure of that. Now, we all know we got to get three estimates. Once you have those moving companies out and they're do going through the estimating process, I mean, what should you be looking for? What should you be wary of? Well, I think, I think asking for references is certainly fair. I think going on uh, and using the internet maybe for this, there's a uh, site called Moving Scams uh, that people rave about and a lot of people seem to share a lot of information on it about moving. Uh, and then also you have you know, your Better Business Bureau uh, where you could search locally just to make sure the company has the right licenses and maybe actually has a physical address in a, in a facility with trucks. When you finally get to the end of the process and maybe you have that one company that you're ready to go forward with. I mean, what are the what are, what should you be looking for, and how should you protect yourself when actually finally making the decision and the commitment to use the mover? So once you have the excitement of selecting that, you think that mover for you. I think clarity is very important. Sometimes you know people just sign and not necessarily realize what the services are they're being provided. So it, it could be a common thing that on move day, the customer thinks the moving company is doing the packing. But you know what, the moving company shows up and thinks the customer's already packed. So just be careful. There's, you know, there's paperwork that should be agreed to and signed. They should have pickup dates, delivery dates, and, and you should know what kind of uh, valuation you're selecting for protection on the move. Well, those are some great tips to really help avoid the pitfalls in finding a mover. Yeah, I mean, finding a mover can be, it can be stressful, but if you go about it in, a, uh, in the right way, it doesn't have to be. Great. Thanks, Jim.